morning and welcome to the GHS Reporter. Today is Friday, December 15th, and I'm Andre Valverde. In perhaps one of the biggest business stories of the past few years, the Walt Disney Company has announced that it has reached a deal to purchase the 20th Century Fox Company for an estimated $52 million. According to the New York Times, if the deal is approved by the Justice Department, it would secure Disney's place as the top company for traditional media. But the company also hopes this acquisition will help it in its ventures to create a streaming service to compete with those such as Netflix. Last year's big Star Wars film was an effort to connect the prequels to the classic saga. Here's Ethan's review of Rogue One. Today we look at Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Rogue One follows a group of rebels on a mission to steal the plants for the Death Star, the Galactic Empire's superweapon. This movie takes place some 20 years after Revenge of the Sith and a couple weeks before A New Hope. The movie cast includes Felicia Day, Diego Luna, and Mads Mikkelsen. Most are newcomers to the series, and most people in the movie are relatively unknown to American audiences. This movie is eh. I find that it lacks something. The characters are boring and seem to be very robotic and alien, no pun intended. The action scenes are really good, probably the best thing about the movie. But the story drags on even though we know the ending and don't particularly care about the characters. When watching the movie, I could not remember any of the characters' names or their personality traits. When the action scenes would happen, dialogue would stop, and the spectacle of tight, choreographed, well-shot scene would take over. Although it was fun to look at, the plot would stop, and the scene ended up feeling like filler. This movie also used CGI to make the character of Grand Moff Tarkin look like he did in Episode 4, and it looks really jarring against the real humans. We've heard word of rumors circulating through the city. Apparently, you've lost a rather talkative cargo pilot. Personally, I find this movie as bad as the prequels. I would not recommend it, and only watch it if you're a diehard fan. country ski team will, pre will present its first annual cookie walk tomorrow from 9 to 11 a.m. in the LGI. Pay for a tray and walk from station to station to collect decorative and delicious homemade holiday cookies. That's all for the GHS Reporter today. Remember to find today's announcements online and on Twitter at GHS Announcement. I'm Andre Valverde. Today is a B-Day. Have a good day.